You run Omega? <laughs> I am Omega. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. And welcome back to Mass Effect 2. Hill here, on the bridge of the Normandy with Commander Shepard. And we are about to go to this station called Omega. All right, opening the galaxy map. And it just so happens we are right here near Omega. Let's go. Right, hold A to sprint, a very important tip. So I love these cutscenes when you visit some place for the first time. They had this also in the original Mass Effect as well. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and take Miranda and Jacob as though we had a choice. Uh, we will. Can I, yeah, okay, everybody's got two points. We'll worry about those points later. Let's see, now what about the weapon loadouts? Oh, I can have the Predator or the Phalanx. Ooh, the Singularity Projector. Huh. I'll, I'll, I'll take it. All right, so Jacob, oh, he has three options. Wow, the Eviscerator also, this early? All right, we're going to go with the uh, Geth Plasma Shotgun due to the unparalleled range. He's got a Phalanx. We'll go ahead and give him the Predator. I think he had that earlier on. And Miranda... She can keep the phalanx, and I guess there's no other choice but the shuriken. All right. Let's go. Ah, welcome to Omega. You're new here, aren't you? I can always tell. Allow me to... Oh, hello, Mocklin. I was just... Leave, Fargot. Now. Oh, of course, Mocklin. Whatever she wants. Blasted scavengers, welcome to Omega, Shepard. You know who I am? Of course. We had you tagged the moment you entered the Terminus systems. You're not as subtle as you think. Arya wants to know what brings a dead Spectre to Omega. I suggest you go to Afterlife now and present yourself. Yeah, when I'm ready. I'll talk to your boss when I'm damn well ready. Then you'd better get ready. No one keeps Arya waiting. Afterlife, now. I'm receiving quarantine warnings about the slums where Dr. Morton Solis runs the clinic. Anticipate resistance at the transport station. I have also accessed messages between mercenary groups regarding plans to deal with the Archangel. There's a recruiting station at Afterlife that may have information on him. All right. Thank you, Edie. And let's, uh... So this is the... When I, I'm clicking R, that's the, the map I'm getting. Okay, I was expecting something a bit more. Okay. Please. Shut it. I think this is one of our recruits. 
Uzai Basani? Yeah, that's me. You must be Commander Shepard. I hear we have a galaxy to save. What's your relationship with Cerberus? Easy. Cerberus is paying me a lot of money to help you on your mission. That's the long and short. Not many mercs would take a suicide mission for the pay. Most mercs don't get an offer like the one Cerberus sent me. This mission doesn't sound like good business. Your elusive man can move a lot of credits. My contacts told me we're picking up one man, not two. Batarian delinquent. Pissed off someone rich enough to hire me to go after him, and for my bring him in alive rates even. Please, I didn't do it. I said, shut ah! it. Tried to leave me on a chase all over the systems. He should have known better. These people always run to Omega. What's gonna happen to him? I'm gonna turn him in for the bounty. Don't much care what happens after that. Okay, well, what else do you know? My contacts told me we're picking up one man. What? Not two. We already got Batarian that. delinquent. Pissed off someone rich enough to hire me to go after him. And for my bring him in alive rates, even. Please. I didn't do it. I said, <laughs> shut it. Tried to leave me on a chase all over the systems. He should have known better. These people always run to Omega. All right. That's enough. Okay, so let's have him report to the Normandy. Go ahead and get set up on the Normandy. Right. I'll go make myself at home. I assume the elusive man told you about our arrangement. <laughs> There's always a catch. I'm assuming there's some part of your contract that I'm expected to handle. That about right? Yeah. Funny he didn't tell you. Picked up a mission a little while back, just before I signed on with Cerberus. Thought you might be interested. You heard the name Vito Santiago? He's the head of the Blue Suns. Runs the whole organization. Seems he recently captured an Elfell Ashland refinery on Zoya, and is using their workers for slave labor. The company wants it dealt with. We'll get to it if we can. Our mission takes priority. I know you've got bigger fish to fry. That's why I'd like to get this other thing dealt with as soon as possible. I better turn this thing in before it starts to stink. I'll be locked and loaded next time you're ready to get some killing done. Okay, well, that was Zaid Masani. Let's go on in here to Omega. Oh, we got six Renegade. I have to say, the textures look amazing. And this, again, is the a lot uh, retexturization of Mass Effect 2. And the link is in the description. And we also have an E and B with sweet effects that we're using as well. I don't know if it shows up quite as it does on my screen I, on YouTube. I, I don't Come think on, it, it's quite as amazing, but uh, are yeah, these two mods me? are great, and both links are in the description. Wow, it has me? been so long since I have been here to Afterlife. This used to be so amazing to come here and listen to this music. Yes. Dancers got a lot more animated from the the first game. Just amazing. All right, so over here to the right, I think we can get one of our first quests: a bottle of brandy. 
purchase a Cirrus Ice Brandy. Yes. Okay, so we will give this to Dr. Chocolas. What does this bartender have to say? Yeah, we're not drinking right now. Hmm. Anto. I think we need to talk to him in order to be able to have an audience with Aria. You want to talk? Talk to Aria. Okay, well, I guess we're just going up here then. The Queen of Omega. All right, let's talk. That's close enough. Stand still. If you're looking for weapons, you're not doing a very good job. Can't be too careful with dead specters. That could be anyone wearing your face. I was told you're the person to talk to if I have questions. They're clean. Depends on the questions. You run Omega? <laughs> I am Omega. <laughs> All right. But you need more. Everyone needs more something, and they all come to me. I'm the boss, CEO, queen, if you're feeling dramatic. It doesn't matter. Omega has no titled ruler and only one rule. Don't fuck with Arya. Yeah, he's got similar rules. Sounds like neither of us likes being jerked around. And on your ship, that would matter. Here, we entertain my preferences. So, what can I do for you? Morden Solus. I'm looking for Morden Solus. Do you know where I can find him? The Solarian Doctor? Last I heard, he was trying to help plague victims in the quarantine zone. I always liked Morden. He's as likely to heal you as he is to shoot you. Hmm. What can you tell me about him? Used to be part of the Solarian Special Tasks group. He's brilliant and dangerous. Just don't get him talking. He never shuts up. If you really need to find him, take a shuttle to the quarantine zone. No guarantee they'll let you in, of course. Hmm. Indifference about Shepard, okay. One scan and we're straight to business? People are usually more concerned about who I am. Your death was downplayed, but hardly what I call a secret. I had to make sure it was really you. You could have been anyone, anything. Whatever you need will come out on its own. I'm curious, but Omega doesn't really care about you. All right, let's ask about Aria. Tell me how you got set up here. That's as privileged as information gets. I have many friends and enemies I keep at varying distances. I don't count you among either. We'll see how useful you prove. Short answer? Mind your own damn business. Okay, and let's ask about Omega. So, you must know what's what on Omega. Everything that's worth knowing. I don't usually give it out freely. Information is power. Mundane things you can find yourself. Take a walk in a back alley or buy one of the mercs a drink. Better yet, talk to the entertainers. They give great tours. Just don't waste my time. Hey, let's ask about Archangel. I'm trying to track down Archangel. You and half of Omega. You want him dead too? Why is everyone after him? He thinks he's fighting on the side of good. There is no good side to Omega. Everything he does pisses someone off. It's catching up to him. I'm putting a team together. He's on my list. Interesting. 
You're gonna make some enemies teaming up with Archangel. That's assuming you can get to him. He's in a bit of trouble right now. Just tell me how to find him. The local Merc groups are recruiting anyone with a gun to help them take down Archangel. Sounds like that might be our ticket in. They're using a private room for recruiting. Just over there. I'm sure they'll sign you up. Which Merc groups are after Archangel? Blue Suns, Eclipse, Blood Pack. They're Omega's major players. Unless they're at war, you'll never see them together. But one thing they hate more than each other is Archangel. Do you hate Archangel? I don't have time for hate. But I distrust them all equally. For now, I'm happy just to let them kill each other. Hmm. Alright, let's see if we can get any more information about Archangel. What can you tell me about Archangel? Not as much as I'd like. He showed up here several months ago and started causing all sorts of problems. If you make your own laws, which everyone here does, he makes life difficult. He's reckless and idealistic. But he seems to know enough to stay clear of me. Alright, I think we've exhausted our dialogue options. I appreciate the help. See if you still feel that way when the mercs realize you're here to help him. Sounds like I don't have much time to waste. You've got all the time in the world. Archangel? Not so much. Okay. Join the mercs, enter the quarantine zone. And two renegade. Oh, you could have given me a little bit more than that. Okay, let's go, Cerberus. Uh, we are going to concentrate on Morden for now. We'll come back and join the mercenary group at another time. going on over here. What are you looking at? Uh-oh, people. Uh-oh. A renegade option. The man who's damn about to ruin. Uh, uh, I'm not looking for trouble. Maybe I am. Maybe you better get out of here before I find you some. All right, all right. I'm, I've got stuff to do anyway. Come on, let's get out of here. Hmm. Okay, five renegade for that. I appreciate it. Let's go. Come on, let me in. Okay, let's see. I guess we'll start here. Are these people we can talk to? No. What's going on here? You blight on Galactic Fury. You, sir, you are a blight. You and you, human. And you. All right, nothing really going on here. Let's keep moving. Wow. You know, it's a shame. I've never really even stopped before to look at the sites because I'm always like rushing through to finish the game and you know have take this character to the next level all right so let me browse Herod's Emporium I think don't we already have these things oh a capacitor chest plane what does this do okay reduces the delay before your shields start recharging a hack module. Oh, you know what? Do I have credits for this? I do. Oh, I need this. It'll help me be able to solve the puzzles. Okay, it slows down time. I'm buying this, yes. This looks interesting. I don't know if I can do anything with it, though, without Morden. Nice. Let's see, can we talk to Harrod? 
tentatively excited. Welcome, human. What can I get for you? What kinds of things do you sell here? Friendly, salvaged parts. All kinds. Mostly legitimate. With pride, my prices are the lowest anywhere on the station. You won't find salvage cheaper than mine. I have things to do. Courteously, have a fine day. Take a look at my kiosk if you want to buy anything. Um, I believe those couplings we need to get from him. But they're not on offer. Alright, well we'll keep looking. Got another vendor over here. Let's first talk to him. I might have something here for humans. Not much. Uh oh, people. Another renegade option? You might snare a few tourists with these prices, but I'm not giving you a single credit. Sure, you can find things cheaper if you're willing to risk the black market. Well, you and I could do business if you just charge what this crap is worth. Fine. I'll give you the uppity human discount. <laughs> and that's all you're getting. Ooh, five renegade for that. Okay, let's see what he's got. Stimulator conduits increases storm speed by 10%. I don't know if we need storm speed at the moment. Sniper rifle damage. We don't really need that at the moment since I'm not a marksman. Fornax, a titillating alien magazine. I'm not sure what we even do with that. Okay. Thank you. We'll probably shop here at, at another time. All right. Anything else? We got food over here. Wow. Look at Omega. Interesting. Anything here? Nope. Nope. Let's see, I think there may be something down this way. Oh, a Borgia. Leave, human. Tell Captain Gabon we not kill anyone today. There seem to be a lot of Borgia on Omega. No, not too many. You stay away. We kill you. I don't know a Captain Gabble. Why would I tell him anything? Go away. Talk too much. Gabble's talks get no more. We leave. Good talking to you. No more talk. We know Gabble's tricks. We leave. Alright, I'm not sure what that does. Batarian, talk to Jacob. Place. How could these people be left to rot like this? You don't understand, or you don't want to. Doesn't really matter. No. Omega has worked this way for a very long time. No one's changing it now. Okay, oh, we have entire Vorcha colony down here. Wow, look at all these Vorcha. Uh-oh, what's down here? Vorcha, anything down here? Wow, is this like people? It's a corpse. My goodness. All right, we need to get out of here. All right, what is uh, what have we got in here? I think is this the bottom floor of Afterlife, or are we back at the top? No, this is the bottom. Shepard, uh, work on his dance steps. Just 
needed to get some practice in, that's all. Okay. Uh, I don't think there's anything else here for the moment. Let's go... Oh, this door opened up. And we would have a... Uh, I don't know, a special guest star, I don't know what you would call it, if she had lived in Mass Effect 1, but Helena Blake, I think you would find her here in this area. But unfortunately, we had to put her down. All right, so we're back upstairs. In Afterlife. All right, I'm looking for something in particular, or someone, and maybe it's too early in the game. Yeah, there's nothing down here, but there should be another exit. First, then you'll get angry, come at you stupid, and then you kill him. I don't think I know you, human. I'm the Patriarch, Arya's Patriarch. What do you want? Yeah, what's a Patriarch? Why do they call you Patriarch? It's like an Asari Matriarch, only male. <laughs> it was Arya's little joke. Wow. After she took me down, she let me live. Kept me around as an advisor and a trophy. A Krogan as old as you must have some great stories. I killed a lot of people, lived well, and was beaten by a small Asari who keeps me around as an example. My time is done. Anyone I killed is long forgotten. The stories are Arya's now. What do you know about Arya? Uh, a few centuries ago, Omega was my rock. When Arya arrived, she had nothing but the clothes on her back. I thought she was another dancer. <laughs> she killed half my men and convinced the rest that she could run this place better than I did. She came for me here in this bar. We tore this place apart. She crushed one of my hearts, shattered half the bones of my body, and left me alive. Hmm. Why? What made her decide to leave you alive? No, she doesn't destroy what she can use. She said I could have all my old comforts if I served as her advisor. I knew how things worked. I knew who to lean on, who to smack down, who to smile at. And everyone who respected me saw me beaten, broken. They knew that as strong as I'd been, she was stronger. Mm. All right, well, that's it for the Patriarch. I should be going. Okay, let's see. Now, did we... I think we came through this door here. Okay, the person I'm looking for is not here, so probably gonna come later. And all the Vorcha. And let's see, can we go down here? Yes, there's a shop here. Let's talk to this patron. Or this vendor. Hello there. Shopkeeper. I interest you in some salvage tech. Every credit goes toward a ticket to get me off this forsaken rock. Okay, we're gonna go renegade. No one in their right mind would pay these prices for salvaged parts. 
I know. That's crippling my sales. Drop your prices and I'll consider buying. Otherwise, I'll keep walking. You're right. I'll give you whatever you like for the original price. And if this gets back to Harrod, I'll deal with it then. What brought a nice kid like you to Omega? My pilgrimage. What money I had got stolen within a few days, so I decided to sell salvage parts. You can see how that turned out. Harrod's forcing me to sell high, and I can't even afford a ticket off the station. Why does Harrod control your prices? Harrod made me swear not to undercut him, no matter what. He was here first, so it's his right. But no one will buy from me when he's so much cheaper. I can't save enough money for a ticket off the station. I could go talk to Herod for you. Get him to ease up. I won't stop you. If you can convince him to lay off, then maybe I'll get off this station after all. His shop's up the ramp, near where Marsh sells his goods. Anything you can do will be much appreciated. Why does Herod control your prices? Herod made me swear not to undercut him, no matter what. He was here first, so it's his right. But no one will buy from me when he's so much cheaper. I can't save enough money for a ticket off the station. It's... I... Uh, you know, Shepard's just not that type of person. Not yet. I have to go. Please check with my kiosk to see what I have for sale. And thank you. Okay. So let's check the kiosk here. Oh, we got five renegades. Heavy weapon ammo. Here they are. Here are the couplings. All right, we got enough credits for that. I'm gonna get some heavy weapon this ammo. This might be useful. Ooh, and a heavy skin weave. Let's go. Can we afford that? Yes. Um, shotgun damage. For you and your entire squad. And I don't have enough credits for that. Okay. Because since uh, Jacob uses a shotgun. But we'll bear that in mind. We'll need to come back here at some point and get that, that upgrade. Alright, we got our first upgrade. But I think we have to have Morden in order to apply these things. All right, let's go ahead and talk to Harrod while we're here. Tentatively excited. Welcome, human. What can I get for you? I understand you have an arrangement with the Quarian over there. Suspicious? Of course. A businessman must enter certain agreements in order to stay in business. Accusatory. I don't understand how it is any concern of yours. Well, we're going with the renegade option here. If you're worried about competition, why not just buy out a store? Intrigued. I had not considered that before. My fellow merchants on Omega are not known for being easy to shut down. A weak, homesick kid like that shouldn't be a problem for a man <laughs> like you. Devilishly excited. I have plans to expand. On your advice, I will conquer the Quarian Child. Grateful to thank you for your counsel. I offer you a discount at all of my stores. I have things to do. Courteously. Ooh, five more renegade day. and Take 40 experience. If you want to buy did, did I buy something from here at an at a elevated price? I think we did, but okay. But that's fine. We don't need any of this stuff at the moment. Okay. Um, I think we need to go back to the kid again. Where is he? The Corian. Or, or he's already gone. Okay. All right. So he bought him out. The Corian is gone on his way. All right, let's head on up here. And this is where we came in. All right. So, down here, the, down at the end of this hall, is where we would go into the quarantine zone to find Morden Solus. 
and we will do that in our next episode. This is Hill, and I'm out.